What's up guys? This is the Washburn 4N that Nuno Bittencourt gave me. Let me just go back in time a little bit. I had this guitar that I bought uh, that was pretty beat up. It, I knew it was an old uh, N4. Come to find out it was the first N4 ever built. It was a 1990 model serial number 901, which means 1990 number one, the first one ever. And uh, got it all kind of restored and, um, you know, Nuno wanted it. So uh, we talked for about six months, came to an agreement, and uh, his manager and I dealt with the entire uh, process and the transaction. And they were super awesome, super gracious. Um, and not only did he buy the guitar from me, but part of the deal was he gave me this four in which is just an amazing guitar. I'm also I'm going to get some kind of meet and greet with Nuno in the near future when they're in the area so he can sign this guitar and I can shake his hand uh, and meet him face to face. And uh, I just love this guitar. It, it's As you can tell, it was made for Nuno. Uh, they spent a lot of extra time on this one versus a normal 4 end. This thing is super dirty. And I've got some, some pretty bright lights on in here right now, which make it look a lot cleaner than it really is. If any of you guys have seen pictures of this thing, it is a pretty uh, grimy, dirty guitar. Its nickname is Old Dirty Bastard because it's just a really dirty guitar. It just, you know, if you kind of look at it close up, you can see where it's just got some awesome wear to it. Uh, the guy who builds these for Washburn spent a lot of extra time on this one. Uh, to make it look like Nuno's number one guitar. You can see it's got the same nicks, the rub mark there. Uh, same rub marks there. I'll show you one cool thing that I saw in another uh, 4N video uh, that uh, they didn't know about and didn't point out. And, I, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let you guys know about it. One thing I've never liked is this tape mark on the back of it where it looks like the guitar was, you know relict and then they were they pulled a piece of tape off well that is to make it look like nuno's uh guitars because he puts a piece of tape on the back of the guitar with his guitar picks stuck there so that is made to uh mimic um uh, his guitar his main guitar uh his main four in uh these guitars come with no back plate whatsoever and it's not even an option where we're, hey we're going to give you one and you can put it on if you like to no nah, we're just not going to give you one because that's just the way the guitar comes. As you can see, this one's got just some extra dirt and grime on it. And uh, I'm just super stoked to have this guitar. Um, I had a video with this guitar and the 901 both in it before uh, I sent the 901 to him. And um, I decided to take it down. Hadn't put anything back up. Uh, but just wanted to reshare this guitar with everybody because it's really special to me. And uh, I just love this guitar. It's really super cool. Um, but, you know, it is a 4N. What makes that different from a normal N4? Uh, I would suggest that everybody uh, go on YouTube and do a search. Just search for 4N and you'll see a guy named Joe King who has the original story about the original 4N. And that will really shed some light on this guitar. It belonged to him. He sold it on eBay to another... Uh, fan that fan sold it to um, Nuno and you know the guitar has got a you know Floyd on it now this version's got a Floyd the original one does have the uh, Kaler Steeler on it just like a uh, a normal Davies and it's got the Kaler nut on it there I put the, uh, the bigger nuts on it instead of the little round ones these are just easier to get on and off when you're changing strings uh, of course, it's got your typical uh, Bill Lawrence in the bridge uh, and, and a Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck. But, you know, the main thing about this guitar is, you know, it just has a different uh, neck angle to it. It's got a much thinner neck on it because the original owner of the 4N that Nuno has now really sanded down the neck and shaped it a certain way. And this, this guitar, especially right up here at the top, uh, the thickness of the neck is very thin. Um, the other thing is 
it's got that low profile like a like a Davies where the the uh, tremolo sits really low into the body and it, it just makes for a really low profile on the guitar and as you can see this thing's got the the wear pretty much everywhere uh, the guy that builds these for Washburn spent a lot of extra time on this one for Nuno uh, all the way down to I don't think you can really see it in here but there's a like a scratch in there that is really deep that is made to mimic Nuno's guitar so uh, really awesome guitar. Just wanted to share this with everybody. Ebony fretboard. It doesn't have that black ebony. It's got the uh, the ebony. It's got a little bit of color to it. And I think that looks better on these wood grain guitars anyway. Uh, bird's eye maple headstock. Bird's eye maple neck. And uh, you can kind of see the back of the neck. It's just a little bit thinner than your normal N4. And it's really low profile. Really super easy to play. Uh, really great sounding guitar. And I uh, just wanted to share this with everybody. Hope everybody enjoys the video. I'll probably make some more videos on this guitar. And uh, we'll see you next time.